Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kitty Mary and I am going to spend a lot of this last month of 2021 talking about some of my favorites throughout the year uh, and give you guys a good overview of some of the different eco swaps and eco products I've been using and which ones I've really really liked. Personally I've found these types of videos really helpful and if you need more guides, more tips etc on how to find eco products and specifically as for today's topic eco cosmetics, beauty, care products. I also have some lists down below of different skincare brands, hair care brands, cosmetics brands, etc. These are just going to be my 20 favorites from this year. Let's get started. The first favorite is from Elate. This is a little tinted lip balm that I have absolutely been loving. It is so nice. First of all, the packaging is really good. And this is the type of packaging that I can keep using after I've finished the product itself. It opens up. Surprise. So I'm also wearing it now. It sort of comes on like a kind of a lip gloss quality. I have another favorite that's also from Elite, um, and it is in my palette here. One second. This is going to be really dumb because there's basically no product left because I like it so much. So I thought I would include it as well. This brow gel and I am scraping the edges on this <laughs> at this point, but I like it so much. I usually fill in my brows. I've been using it for a really long time. It makes sense that it is basically finished. Um, but also in terms of packaging, I think Elaine is doing a lot of really cool things. When you buy these inserts for the palette, you get them in small paper packages and the paper has seeds in them. So you can go and bury it in your yard, in your kitchen window. And if anyone was wondering, I reused these small tins here at home. I mix my watercolor in these. These were two Elaine favorites. Let's move on to some other things because I also have a favorite from Lush. I have used this beyond recognition. Once upon a time, this was their Naked Concealer. I love this thing so much. For the last month, my skin has been breaking out a whole lot and I have had to go to meetings, I have had to give lectures. It's just been really nice to be able to use something with a bit more coverage. There is not a lot of product here left, but I'm going to keep using this. My favorite number four is another product from Lush. Um, I keep it in this little tin I just made with some elastic hair ties, but it's the makeup remover wipe. I have used this for a long time. I got it while I was in Brussels. It's a really long time ago. There's basically nothing left. Like it's so paper thin. This is so efficient and so cool in terms of packaging because there is none. I just got it like this. And then you wet it and then you put it on your face and then you use a reusable makeup remover wipe and that's it. No liquid products, no products in big packaging just this and it's worked like a charm. Now we're moving into some deodorant territory and the first one I want to highlight is the one from Wild. This is really great and for people who live in the UK this is definitely also a great option because they ship from the UK. The container itself is of course reusable and then you simply switch out or refill uh, the deodorant product part. But now that I talked about one type of deodorant, I want to highlight another one as well, because I also this year tried the deodorants from Native. And these ship from the US, and they recently, I believe, restricted their shipping policies a whole lot, so they don't ship to as many countries as they used to. But at least if you're in the US, and I guess some places in Europe too, I'm fussy on the details, but then you can get this. And uh, they do make things in plastic packaging still, which I think is a little bit odd, like they could just phase out the plastic packaging in favor of this, rather than having two lines, that would be ideal. But I got to try out a couple of the native deodorants and they are really, really good. This one is definitely my favorite. It is citrus and herbal musk, really, really nice and fresh and not too sweet either. So really, really like this for sure. And the packaging is made from paper. Moving in a completely different direction, I also really want to highlight the Ren primer. I also got to try this out this year for the first time and let me tell you, game changer. I have talked a lot of shit about primers over the years because I have definitely thought that overall they were all just useless. I know they are not all just useless, but there are definitely products out there that we don't need and we don't need to layer products on products on products on our skin. Like that's not necessary. But this, this stuff, has made such a huge difference, both for how long my makeup stays on, how long I stay fresh, generally how I feel on my face and how oily my face gets. It comes in a little glass bottle and I know Ren for a fact are doing a lot of things to make their supply chain zero waste, 
which is also really cool. And they're doing a lot of things with packaging as well. Now, once again, I'm grabbing my palette. I love to go for refill types of products rather than buying like the whole thing in its own individual container. No need for that, no space for that either. So I go for these refills. And the ones I want to talk about now are these ones, the, the squared ones. They are from Salt, New York. And they are some of the best highlighter slash lip tint cheek colors that I've ever tried. They are definitely multi-use, so you can use them for the, whatever you want. As you can see, I am wearing a lot of this rouge. I usually mix it with this bronze highlighter and then I put it on my cheekbones and I put it on my nose. I mix this one with these lipsticks and I use it on my lips. Um, and then I have this completely white highlighter that I use on my nose. These are really, really nice. They also came in 100% paper packaging, which again, we love to see. By the way, and I didn't really mention this, but all the products I am showing you guys are also vegan and cruelty free. Just if there was any confusion. Another makeup product that I know for a fact I've talked about because I've already repurchased this one or two times before. So if you've seen any of my makeup videos, I feel like you've seen this. But I'm also going to include this VegUp foundation powder as one of my favorites. It doesn't come completely plastic free. There is a little plastic lid. For now, sticking to this and then I'm going to opt for another one if I find one. But this is also really nice and it fits my complexion really well. Um, I really just like this. This is from VegUp and the color is, if you are interested, sand because I'm the widest that ever was. Now, just for a while, let's talk about some of the products that aren't cosmetics and makeup related. I also really want to include this nail file. Um, this is the primary thing I use to keep my nails in the right shape. I love my nails to be sort of like an almondy shape. Um, and what I do to achieve that is that I use this nail file. This is completely made out of stone, so there's nothing to be broken. Like the only thing that could break this is if you dropped it on some stone floor, but then you can still use the small bits and you can resharpen it simply by running it across a stone surface. This is really, really cool. It's by a company called By Lavinia and uh, I really recommend them. They make these in Sweden and it comes with this little cock pouch. Now this might not be a beauty product per se, but it is a care product and it is the Dentaps. I get these in bulk from my bulk store, but you can get them in many different types of packaging and I believe that Dentaps make their own packaging from paper. I've used these as an alternative to toothpaste for years now, so of course they're going to be in the favorites video, obviously. I have the ones with fluoride, but you can also get them without. I also want to highlight some hair care and one of the things that I initially thought of when I thought zero waste hair care that I really love is the Solido uh, shampoo and conditioner bars. I have two right here. I used to have a lot more, but they are gone because I use them. This is a citrus conditioner that has done absolute wonders for my hair because for the longest time I didn't use any conditioner other than some oil once in a while because I couldn't find a zero waste conditioner so I just didn't use any. They come in this cute packaging that is completely compostable and I can testify to that because I left mine in the shower and it started to come apart in the shower. So to combat that I simply like to um, store mine like this as well. Then the water can run off and it stays dry. Now, now I also really want to mention a couple of products that are a little bit bougie, sorry, they are a little bit bougie, like I don't know what else to say about this. And I got these products because I was testing them out and making some sponsored content with this brand and I really love the products. They are a little bit pricier than some of the other things that I usually show and low-key I don't think I could afford them on my own. But if you do have a bigger budget, if you do have the opportunity to try them out, I definitely recommend both of them because they're really good. They are from OC and the first one is this cleansing milk. Also vegan, by the way. I don't use a lot of it because I really want to save it. Also a little bit goes a really long way, so I have still used this like more times than I can count. But I can really recommend it, it's so good. It leaves my skin feeling amazing and yeah, just overall a great one. And the other one, I've used quite a bit more, but that's the body oil. This is really nice and it makes my tattoos pop as well whenever I have to take pictures or anything like that. I like to use this, so everything just looks vibrant and neat. Um, but definitely also recommend. The next point on the agenda is this face scrub with coffee from Upcycle and it was a brand I learned about this year and I've tried quite a few of their products at this point. The packaging is really great, 100% recyclable as well, but what I am really excited about in terms of Upcycle is that this tube came with this little device and then you roll it 
So you get everything out of the container and nothing is wasted. I know that this is not a new invention, but both in terms of waste prevention and in terms of the ingredients and packaging, I really like Upcycle. Now the next one is an oldie but a goodie, but the Living Naturally Britannic Hair Oil. <laughs> I am basically done with this. There is not a lot left. I have used this for years, honestly. I don't know how long this stuff. Six months, okay. What can you do? It still works really, really great. So especially if I have really big frizzy hair, I like to use a little bit of hair oil on the tips and also in the roots of my hair. And it just makes a huge difference. Um, I really love this. And of course it's a glass packaging as well. And a lot of the stuff that Living Naturally is doing is really great, which is why I have another favorite from Living Naturally. Aha. And it is the Soap Nut Solve. It looks like this, also a tiny little container, glass aluminum lid. We love to see it. Amazing, beautiful, natural ingredients. So I am super stoked about that. And I like to use this if I have irritation, if I feel like very dry in certain places, I like to use this. It's like a wonder thing that you can use all over your body if you want to. I've also used it on my lips if they're chappy in the winter, which they'll probably be in a second as well. And I love a product with tons of different applications rather than having like 10 individual products that have their each individual purpose, you know? Having something that can do a lot of things both in terms of skincare and in terms of makeup I really like I also have a recommendation for a sunscreen this is the one that I have been using throughout 2021 it is the amazing vegan sunscreen it comes in an aluminium bottle which is just amazing and great I have also repurchased this and I bring it with me on vacations and when we're going out in general it's recommended that you use sunscreen every day and I don't do that I'm bad but whenever I do use sunscreen I use this one from amazing now I also have a product I didn't really think I was going to recommend anyone ever because it's never been something that I have used a whole lot of but I have fallen in love with this toner from the witchery Copenhagen these products are made with leftover discarded ingredients from other industries flour leftovers herbal leftovers etc which is really cool and it smells amazing and this toner so good I honestly also use this on my hair sometimes but I use it on my face before I put on anything in the morning, I wash my face and then I put on my toner, let it sit for a while and then I do my makeup. And also a really good reusable bottle that I can use once the product is finished. And my last recommendation is a homemade thing. I cannot make a beauty care recommendations top 20 favorites video without talking about my homemade body butter that I still use basically every single day. Three ingredients in this, it is coconut oil, cocoa butter and shea butter. And that's literally it. Of course, I have left links to all my recommendations and everything I talked about there down below if you want to check some of them out. And remember to check out the lists of sustainable beauty and care products. They are also down below. And I routinely update those as well. So it's not going to be the same thing forever. Sometimes if a brand goes in a direction that I don't agree with, I will remove them from the list. And when I find new brands that I really like, specifically, <laughs> I'll add them to the list. And thank you so much for watching. These were my top 20 sustainable beauty cosmetics care products. I hope that you liked this video. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what your favorites are this year. And if you have tried any of these products, I would love to hear your opinions and experiences with those as well. Remember to subscribe to my channel and like up this video if you liked it. That would make my day. Have an amazing day and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!